you can see a showcase of mesh trimming uh, here. So I'd recommend not to upscale your resolution. For God of War Collection Volume 1, set the frame limit to 60 and enable VSync. You can also upscale the resolution as much as you want. Just be careful, in certain areas, the game will suffer from extreme screen tearing. Attempting to remedy this with VSync will result in unplayable micro stuttering, and changing frame rate caps appear to have no effects. This problem is consistent across different displays and is especially noticeable on 60Hz displays. Bear in mind that God of War games have some bugs in the original release, even on a real PS3, meaning remastered collection or PS2. They may or may not be happening more often on RPCS3, but they aren't emulator bugs. In God of War 1, Pandora's box may not appear in the room, and in God of War 2, the event in Titan's Cave might not trigger halting progression. Restarting the game can fix the issue, but you might have to do it a few times. The reason for this has never been identified and looks to be an engine issue. There are also patches available for skipping any videos with X button. You can enable it in the patch manager of the game. For God of War Collection Volume 2, also known as God of War Origins Collection, you don't need any special settings. You might need to enable VSync in order to stop the screen tearing, but other than that, no special configuration is needed. You can also upscale the resolution as much as you want. Now for God of War 3, first up, in the CPU tab, you need to set the SPU block size to Mega. Navigate the GPU tab and set the frame limit to 60, and check right color buffers and asynchronous texture streaming. And remember not to use any resolution upscaling in this game. The reason I'm telling you this is because upscaling the resolution results in mesh trimming. You can see a showcase of mesh trimming uh, here, so I'd recommend not to upscale your resolution. I know it's hard to play the game on native resolution of PS3, but it is what it is, until someone finds a way to fix this issue. The best workaround for this uh, problem is to enable FSR upscaling. You can bump up RCAS to any number above 50%. I would like it to be set on 80. And lastly, go to advanced tab and set the driver wake up delay to 50 microseconds. You can also set it to a number more than 50 if you experience crashing. The configuration of the game is done, now we need to enable some patches. So uh, what you need to do is enable all the patches except for disable MLAA and unlock FPS. Disable MLAA is for upscaling the resolution, which we don't want to do, and on the other hand, enabling unlock FPS causes glitches in the game. Now when you start the game, you might experience a black screen after the Santa Monica logo, which is normal. The game might take up to 5 minutes to progress past this screen. And bear in mind that resolution scaling doesn't work properly unless the disable MLAA patch is enabled. Game patches can be enabled in the patch manager as I told you before. And the game is also quite RSX intensive and even a RTX 390 loses a bit of performance at 4K. Due to this, most users should stay at 200% resolution scale or below if they want the best performance. I recommend you stay on the default 100% and don't upscale scale the resolution. Now for God of War Ascension, first navigate to CPU configuration and set SPU block size to Mega. On the GPU tab, set z equal accuracy to approximate and enable right color buffers. And remember, do not use resolution upscaling in this game, because it will cause mesh trimming which you can see in the video. So set the resolution scaling to 100 and let it be on default. Head to advanced configuration and enable accurate R6 reservation access and set sleep timer's accuracy as host, and set the driver wake up delay to 50 or above if you experience crashing. For the patches, only enable skip intros and disable motion blur. 